Realistic lighting and post-processing can greatly enhance the quality and realism of your renders. In this lesson, we will cover the fundamentals of lighting in Unreal, as well as how to adjust camera exposure. To add light into our scene, we can go to the Place Actors menu, go to the Light section, and we can find a few different types of lights that we can add. For this scene, I'm just going to add a simple point light. So I'm just going to position this kind of in the middle. Position it up, and then I'll just add two to evenly light the room up a bit. Now that we have light in our scene, it is important to talk about lighting and post-processing inside of Unreal. All post-process settings are handled inside an actor called the po post-process volume. To add it into your scene, go to the Place Actors dropdown, Visual Effects, then add a post-process volume into your scene. First, we're going to scroll down all the way to Post-Process Volume Settings and check Infinite Extent. This will ensure that the post-process volume is applied across your entire level. So there are a lot of different settings that you can adjust, but we're going to focus on the camera and exposure settings. First things first, we're going to go to the Exposure section and then set Metering Mode to Manual. Now we can see that our scene goes completely dark. This is expected as we're going to adjust our camera settings manually. So now we can go to the camera section. And the three settings that we're going to adjust are the shutter speed, ISO, and aperture. For a darker indoor scene that is going to be lit with carbon fixtures, I'm going to set the aperture to 2.8 and then set the ISO to something like 1600. We can leave the shutter speed at 60. Now for a deep dive on proper exposure in Unreal, there's a very good tutorial from Epic that will be linked in the description that we highly recommend checking out. Now using these exposure settings, you will find that the scene still remains dark. This is expected as default Unreal exposure is normally not photometric to real world intensities. Another reason is that the default light units in Unreal is set to candelas. Carbon for Unreal uses lumens as our light units to make sure that our fixtures are as photorealistic as possible. For this reason, you may find that you will need to boost up the intensities of the lights in your scene. So we can easily select our lights and bump up the intensities to a more realistic value to something like 1200 lumens. Now, if your light units are not in lumens, you can go to the Project Settings window, then search up Light Units, and make sure that this is set to lumens. Now our scene is lit up properly and has proper exposure settings. We're now done with the first half of the series, covering the basics of Unreal Engine. In the second half, we'll begin using Carbon to accelerate your design process. Before proceeding, please make sure that you install the latest version of Carbon Fernwheel into this project or any other blank project of your choosing.